Georgia. I'm sure Mr. McDonald will serve the Ulysses with the same precision that earned him top honors throughout his career. We're happy to have him, Admiral. Mr. Murphy, you'll see to it our new XO has everything he needs before we get underway. Aye, right, Captain. Tell him we give the commander and I a moment. This is your first real tour. It must be exciting for you. You'll be working with a great crew. So I was told. I'm looking forward to it. You're the youngest XO on record, am I right? I wouldn't know that. I just know I earned my job. Of course you did. You gentlemen getting acquainted okay? We're getting along just fine, Admiral. Happy to have him aboard, sir. Well, fine. I'll expect you to show Commander Lang some excellent teamwork. We'll be shipping out tomorrow. Oh, no, they won't. Excuse me. You know who you're talking to. Nah, he's all right. That's James Carter. He designed the submarine. He's ex-Navy. Used to be a SEAL and one of the best. That's right. Mr. McDonald, Mr. Murphy, I'll see you on board. You're dismissed. Hi, Hi Captain. Captain. Carter, it's a hell of a time for a malfunction. Don't tell me it's a reactor. No. The electrical system? No, not that either. Then what is it? You need a new deep fryer. <laughs> George? James. Johnny? Tommy. This is Tommy, my son. Hello, Tommy. You think your dad's pretty funny, don't you? Yes, I do, sir. Very funny. Admiral, I've reviewed your agenda for the Joint Chiefs meeting. I've also included SOP on nuclear protocol. The car is ready, sir. It's well. It's sailing, George. Thank you. See you at homecoming. Yes, sir. See you, James. Wow, Dad. Should have got her phone number. Watch your step, <laughs> anyway, who is she? Ah, Lieutenant Commander Lisa Stark, Special Communications Officer. Admiral Pendleton's right hand. Smart as a whip. Yeah. Listen, Jim, I gotta get on board. I wanna thank you for taking a look for me. Sounds good. You have a good one, huh? All right. Take care. See you when we get back. Woo. Will do. Be well. Her name's Lisa. Should have got her phone number. Oh, it turns out this McDonald is one of the McDonald's from the Connecticut McDonald's. Used to steer his daddy's yacht on weekends. <laughs> he gets the job, Murphy. Right, so. You have a problem with me? No problem at all, sir. I expect you gentlemen to show some respect for the new XO. Captain's in control. How we doing, Murph? Sailing smooth, sir. Very well. Mr. McDonald, why don't you run a station check for us? Yes, sir. Sonar, con, system check. Sonar reporting. Welcome aboard, sir. And may I say that my involvement in Whitewater was entirely Hillary's fault. Navigation. Steady at 808 degrees and ready to roll, sir. Weapons. Fire control one. Sweet and fine looking as a woman at the end of tour, sir. And how's our pilot doing? Hey, okay, sir. We're all ready. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Collins, what the hell was that? It, it means crash dive, sir. Crash dive. And under what circumstances is a 688 attack class submarine with Tomahawk missiles ever do a crash dive? Uh, never, sir. I trust you have enough intelligence to remember that. All set, Mr. McDonald? Yes, sir. Very well, submerge the ship. Submerge the ship, aye, sir. All hands, prepare to dive. Down bubble, make your depth one five zero feet. Three degrees down bubble, making my depth one five zero feet.
scoped out Lisa yet? You're doing a good job here, buddy. Real good. She's just what the doctor ordered. Oh, you think so, do you? She's just what the doctor ordered? Well, you know what I think? What? The doctor ordered dinner. Con radio? Radio Con, go ahead. Captain, I've got a distress call coming in from the top side. It's pretty weak, sir. Patch it through. Mayday, Mayday, our ship is destroyed by storm. Only five of us are alive. We are in this small rock. By the love of God, help us, help us. Petty Officer Wager, what's the weather top side? I think 15-foot swells. And I give you 10 to 1 odds, there's a hurricane coming. The nearest ship? Nothing for over 100 clicks, sir. We should pick them up, sir. What orders are for silent patrol? Something something about servicing it puts us at risk for detection. That storm's gonna swallow those people unless we help them. They'll Mr. Die. Murphy, gentlemen. Mr. Murphy, take us to the surface. To the surface. Aye, right, Captain. Mr. McDonald. Three degrees up bubble smartly. Three degrees up bubble smartly. Aye, sir. Mr. McDonald, you are here to learn as well as serve. Now, books and drills are one thing, but as the executive officer of one of the deadliest weapons ever known to mankind, it would be a good idea for you to learn a little bit about humanity. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Now, Mr. McDonald, you are now personally responsible for each and every one of those survivors. You will see to it each of them make it on board safely and that they have a comfortable stay while they're with us. Clear? Yes, sir. Very well. Mr. Murphy, see to it. The medics are standing by. All right, Captain. Prepare to surface. We're going to pick up the survivors topside. Attention medics, rescue team, report to the tower immediately. Over here, over here. Down, Mr. Murphy. Hi, right, Captain. Mr. Collins, take us down. Ah, uh, sir. Do you have any weapons? No, sir. Take them to the war room so they can dry off. See to it, their clothes are dried immediately. Thank you, sir. Thank you very, very much. We are grateful. <laughs> take them to the quarters. Four men and one woman, sir. If there's a woman, she should have secure quarters, sir. I'll see to it. The XO has responsibility for the survivors. He'll see to it. Yes, sir. Is she pretty, sir? I didn't notice. Mr. Murphy, you have the con. He didn't notice. Christ, his ass is so tight a dime couldn't drop out of the crack. <laughs> Uh, uh, dry the clothes for you, ma'am. Could you please turn your back? Yeah. I 
What's the matter? What's the matter? You're okay. You're on the best boat in the fleet. It's okay. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Something? Yes, ma'am, anything. What room is it? Oh, this is where we keep the weapons and... <laughs> Sir, we have communications error. Find it, Mr. Wager. Lieutenant, I think you should see this. That's the Ulysses. Radio communications are blocked. Get me Admiral Pendleton. And there's no response to radio calls? None at all, sir. What assets do we have in the vicinity? Well, we have several targos combing the area, but we can't get a bearing on it. It's possible that high-range drop will be sonar with... We'll pick up every whale and shark in a 10-mile radius. The sub probably has a moving signature if we knew what to listen get for. Get me James Carter. And get me the president. Right away, sir. We take only what we can carry now. We can always come back for more. Let's go. James Allen Carter? Yeah. I'm Lieutenant Commander Lisa Stark, Special Communications Officer for the North Atlantic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we met before. Uh, I don't recall. <laughs> I thought you'd never forget. We have a serious situation on our hands. I was hoping you'd say that. A serious military situation. Admiral Pendleton sent me. Tommy! The Ulysses is missing. Missing? Yeah, is that Lisa from the base? Yeah, Tommy, this is Special Officer Stark. You can call me Lisa. Hi, Special Stark. I'm Tommy. Okay, Tommy, go get us some jackets, okay? We're gonna go find us a sub. Okay. Let's go. Excuse me, this is a restricted area. Are you Captain Lang? Yes, I am. I want to thank you in person. No! I can't catch it, but... Don't move! Get your hands up! Get out! Well, this 
New McDonald kid's really a punk. Someone needs to take him out and slap him around a little. Hello. Hey. You make funny voices. Well, I'll do any voice that you want me to do. Make the quiet one. My name is Richter. I now control the submarine. If you don't cooperate... Hey! Oh! I think that says it all. Savage, take a look around. It's all familiar to you, no? Yes, just like the plans I studied. We will have no problems here. We will not take orders from you. The former captain has been relieved of his duties, so I'm your captain now. If there are any problems, Mr. Severich can relieve you of your duties as well. Bolin? Yes? Go to the machine room in the air conditioning system, bypass the ducts for the radio room, the sonar room, and this room, and flood the rest with gas. What the hell are you doing? The rest of the crew will sleep for a while now, Mr. Lang. Needing your key anymore. All you, Mr. McDonald. Uh, uh, down, 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 down. Find him and get that key before the gas fills the halls. And get a mask. Get the former captain's story out of that sight. You! You! Mr. Newton, go with them. If they try anything, shoot them. Mr. Carter, this way, please. Good morning. What's the matter, Admiral? Lose a sub? <laughs> you believe it? You got any ideas? The last known position was 700 miles off the coast near the Mid Atlantic Ridge. We thought that perhaps you could identify a unique motion signature and drop away radar. Whose idea was that? Mine. Not bad, but it won't work. I need a heat registration view from the CSAC satellite. Heat registration? But how can you possibly pinpoint a deeply submerged vessel? So the water at the surface will be warm. Yeah. Bring it up, Chris. Let me put it in my office. Enlarge. Enlarge two more times. One more time. That's it. That's the Ulysses. But how can you say that for sure? Here's the heat radiating from the reactor, and here's the coldest part of the sub. But they haven't budged. Any radio contact? None. I don't get it. Well, listen, I, I'm sorry to bring you down here like this. It's OK. I'll grab my key, and I'm out of here. Sir, there's an emergency call from the Ulysses. This is Admiral Pendleton, US Navy. 
And this is the new captain of the Ulysses. The chief of both will now brief you. Don't make a mistake or you'll die. This is chief of the boat, Murphy. Ulysses has been taken over by terrorists. The crew has been cast. Captain Lang is dead. And... And they have the launch keys. To get the Ulysses back will cost you $100 million in gold. If you don't comply, I'll use the nuclear missiles on board and destroy Washington, D.C. Now listen up, whoever you are. You have no idea what we are prepared to do. <laughs> you mean sink us? I don't think so. If we even suspect there are any subs near us, we'll launch the missiles. You have 24 hours to deliver the gold. I'll call back with the coordinates for the drop. Suffrage. I think the crew should be sufficiently intoxicated by now. Have them drag into the mess hall and lock the door. We've got two scenarios. We can pay them the money and pray they give the sub back and don't just point the missiles at some other country, or we bring out our forces and sink the Ulysses. Sir, that's a hundred men and a billion dollar submarine. Is the president prepared to make that decision? He'll have to. Those nukes cannot be launched. It wouldn't only be the end of DC. The fallout will poison the Atlantic and the airborne will hit Europe. Unless the wind's blowing the other way. In that case, the continent of the United States becomes a vast wasteland. We could use another plan. The SSN Davies is heading in their direction from the Azores Plateau. What if we get someone onto the Davies? Maybe they could use a submersible to get onto the Ulysses and disarm the missiles manually. Someone who's intimately familiar with the internal wirings of the computer system throughout the sub. No. James, with all due respect, sir, I'm retired. But you're the only one who knows that sub well enough to pull it off. Look, if I had only my life to worry about, I wouldn't hesitate. You know that. But I've got a son who lost his mother, and I'm not going to let him lose his father, too. Dad, we need you to help them. You can't say no. Hey, pal. I thought you were sleeping. I understand. But, Carter, if you don't go, a hundred sailors lose their lives, their families lose their husbands and sons, and millions of people lose everything. We need you, James. You're the only one that knows that sub, inside and out. Dad? How fast can you get me there? We've got a situation on our hands. Can you watch Tommy for me? Well, of course I will. Yeah. But I was planning on going up to New York this weekend. Can I take him with me? I think that's great. He's been bugging me forever to see the Empire State Building. Yeah! Yeah, come here. <sighs> no, I don't want you to worry about anything, okay? I'll be back soon. Dad and I will take care of everything, and you'll be back. Carter, we have to go. Chopper's waiting at the airstrip. You take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. Here's the contact.
So what's your plan? By tapping into the BSY-1 weapons computer, I can swap the codes of the Tomahawk nukes with harpoon missiles, which are only TNT. Hey, well, Washington will still take a bad hit, but at least it won't be nuked. Yeah, but if I can't reset the guidance system, who, who can give me coordinates on a safe target zone? That's what I need. A plotter nicknamed Wager. Supposedly, he can do latitudes and longitudes in his head. These two are your fighting experts. Collins, Navy wrestling champ. Murphy, most experienced on the ship except for the captain. Dent and Sonar, Robinson and Daly in weapons. OK, I'll memorize their faces. Let's hope these guys are still alive. The chopper's ready for you up on deck, sir. Still will be right there. You got everything you need in that bag? This is a short burst radio. Your message is recorded on the microchip, compressed. I've used one before. I'll be back in Washington with the Admiral by the time you get on the Ulysses, so we'll wait for your first transmission. If we need to contact you, the radio will vibrate, and you'll read our message on the display. Looks like I'll be keeping you up at night, huh? On the radio. Good. Now, Mr. Robinson, open the safe to the launch trigger. Don't do it, man. Mr. Robinson? Don't do it, Tony! Don't do it! Take him out. We can do this all day. Settle down. There's an avalanche outside. Brace for impact. to their posts. I want to see more commitment to their jobs. Open the door! Stop 
drive him. Not yet. Keep looking. Commander Crichton, we're approaching the rendezvous point. We'll have radar contact in 30 seconds. Mr. Burke, take us to periscope depth. Aye, aye, sir. zero feet and hover. They're in position, sir. at the apt escape hatch. Release the hatch. Mr. Carter's in the con, sir. Watch countdown, 13 hours, five minutes. Mr. Carter, welcome aboard. I figure we can get within a mile of Ulysses. You get your gear together and I'll brief you. The ship's stick. Take us back up 200 feet, Mr. Collins, at a reasonable rate of speed. Mr. Wager, plot a course to take us within weapons range of the eastern seaboard. Mr. Collins, don't raise this up. Do what Richter says, Collins. Don't countermand me! Are you able to fully grasp our situation here, sir? He's right, Mr. McDonald. Collins, I'll kill you, friend. Sorry, sir. Three degrees up bubble. Making our depth 200 feet. We're here, quarter mile ahead of the Ulysses, here. You'll have one chance to grab on once it comes by. If you miss it, we'll swing back by after they pass. We'll be in total silence. Good luck. Thank you. Mr. Johnson, prepare to run silent on my mark. Prepare to run silent, aye, sir. Everything you need is in the bag, sir. Short burst communicator, spear gun, survival kit, etc. Good luck, sir. And now. Level the ship and proceed at normal speed. What is it? I don't know. What is it? It's probably a biological. If you take the gun out of my ear, I will put on the headphones and tell you what it is. It's a dolphin swimming near the hall. What? Um, dolphin. Uh, flipper. Air, air. See? Oh, 
human. I'm on your side, okay? Name's Carter. James Carter. You got on this up? Are you crazy? I've been trying to figure out a way to get off. I'm on board. Carter's in. Help, wait, how, how, how am I gonna help? You listen. I'll inform the president. Pretty heavily armed. Little. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna set up a couple of traps to try to lure them in. Now, what I need you to do is to create a diversion long enough to get me into the sonar room. You got it? Let's do it. James <laughs> Carter, how many we got? Uh, four and the leader. How many down? Six. Okay. Wait, wait, wait! Aren't you gonna untie me? No. You're gonna keep pretending to be a prisoner. Sonar guy, remember? Ah, yup, твою мать. Two to one odds, it helps your ears pop. You know I don't have any trouble with my ears. Take the gum. Give me. Give me. Sure. It's my last piece, though. Hey. 
87.016 degrees longitude. 24.862 degrees latitude. These coordinates are absurd. What are they for? Just wanted to see if you could read a map, asshole. SY1 cables in order to patch my laptop into the missile launch system. Hold this. How did you know where to look? I designed this sub. Let's go. Thirteen thirty-seven. A prize crewman in a situation. Who's sending these? A chick? Special advisor to the Pentagon. Come on! Sir! Sir! There's a rubber in the circle of There's nothing I can do! You gotta fix it! Find a way to fix it! Get down there! Even when they are dying, Americans can be so... so undignified. You would no courage if I was looking you in the face. Don't you speak to me about courage. You have never lived through your homeland being destroyed by, by peacekeepers. They're hunting us right now. When they find this sub, they'll blow it to hell. Jesus, will you stop beating him? You want to get someone else killed, you selfish son of a bitch. Your government will try to find a way to keep the gold and get the sub back. Americans love getting something for nothing. <laughs> no comprehension of sacrifice. They will learn about sacrifice very soon. I'm in. Eight hours to go. Gotta change the player on a bunch of circuits or fry the mainframe. I had to kill one of them. Name, Gunter Newton. 28, Slavic, born in Dubrovnik. Get filed from Interpol. Susan, have Interpol check this guy out ASAP. He's part of a terrorist network, and I want to know who else is in it. Right away. We're running out of time. What I need you to do... Newton, are you there? I am here. Mr. Newton. I was waiting for you to report back you went on patrol. I found nothing. Very good. Maintain your post. Avalon? Check on Mr. Newton. Get it together! Hurry! There's ten more 
codes and their controls will be switched over to Harpoon missiles. Yeah, but even that amount of TNT is still gonna make a mess of Washington. Don't worry about it. Wager well, gave me safe target coordinates on a wasteland. You know, all I have to do is redirect the missiles. Speak to This is right there, go ahead. We have a problem. I don't know who you are, but you killed one of my men with a spear. That's a strange weapon for a crew member. Regardless of your weapons, we will find you and kill you. Blood for blood, as my people say. Pauline? Yes, Commander. Help Avalon search the boat. I'll watch your back. No, this is Lieutenant Commander Stark. Oh. Tell me, how does it look? How does what look? All that gold you've managed to gather, approximately two and a half metric tons. You haven't given us enough time. You had time to get a man on board, but you can't get a hold of a little gold. You're not speaking the truth. What man? <laughs> Lady, you're so many moves behind me. It's almost not fun to play. Have my gold ready in two hours. <sighs> There's still seven hours left on the clock. You better send a message to Carter. Tell him the time's been moved up. Search the hall again, room by room. I think Richter will be interested in that. Vlada, we just found this. Hmm. Go back to your post. your short burst radio how sad i know how terrible it feels to be cut off from everyone demoralized outnumbered about to die carter should have responded by now sir there's a call from the ulysses is admiral pendleton here are the coordinates for the drop site 55.076 degrees longitude, 32.495 degrees latitude. Copy that. If it's not delivered in one hour, Washington, D.C. will be ground zero. And you needn't bother sending your man any more messages on the short burst radio. He is dead. Maybe he's lying. Maybe they found the radio. 
What have you got from Interpol on these people? Uh, they're all part of a movement. It's tied to a radical Middle Eastern terrorist group. A well-funded, organized op. Their MO isn't money, it's the domination of the free world by any means necessary. They'd use a nuclear bomb without a second thought. Jesus, so they plan to nuke us whether we pay them or not. <laughs> I'm afraid that's what we must assume. Get me Crichton on the Davies. Our information leads us to believe the president will upgrade the situation to DEFCON 3. You may be our last line of defense. I copy that, sir. We now have long-range sonar registration on the Ulysses. Stand by to sink the Ulysses. Same place now, would you? Yes, we are. We are from a world you could never comprehend. A world filled with death. Not of our own making, but death. Handed to us by our enemies. We learn to kill as children so that some will survive. Yeah, well, I'm sorry you had a tough childhood, but that doesn't mean you have to kill five million people. You have no comprehension of the nature of my world. Yeah, well, comprehend this, asshole. You can't find me, but I know exactly where you are. And you know what? I'm on my way. Make sure all the hatches are closed and locked from the inside. Our own little fortress. Let's see him try to get past the steel door. I've got leads, George! Get the light! Get the light! Get it! You want your gold, you're off course. We'll pick it up on the way back. Back from where? From launching our nuclear missiles. Sabrich, are you ready for the target coordinates? Coordinates are already entered from Washington, D.C. Well, we are resetting them. 41 degrees latitude, 74 degrees longitude. Christ, that's New York City. We'll fire one missile and wait. The United Nations will finally find out that it's better to give than to receive. Special Officer Stark, please. Just a moment, please. Lieutenant Stark. Hello, Lisa. This is Tommy. Have you heard from my dad yet? Your father's doing a terrific job, Tommy. I knew it. So, do you like him? Yeah, Tommy. Very much. I knew you would. He's the greatest. Yeah, he sure is. Well, gotta go. We're going to see the Empire State Building. Okay, have fun. Bye. Bye. The coordinates are entered. I'm encrypting the system. Encryption completed. What the hell? Well done, Mr. Savage. We're now within firing range, Mr. Robinson. We got us a USLA class sub on our tail. Red torpedo tubes, one through four, Webs. One through four flooded, I, sir. Torpedo doors open, sir. Fire tubes, three and four. Two torpedoes, sir, range 600 yards, bearing zero, four, eight, zero, five, zero. 50 knots, sir. What do we do? If you don't tell me, we all die. Christ. Robinson, release countermeasure now. Countermeasures away. Aye, sir.
closing fast, sir. Oh, shit, we only got 15 seconds to impact. Now let's take on ballast in emergency sequence. Dive, dive! First tier ballast tanks full. Second tier ballast tanks full. Torpedoes going after countermeasures. Brace for impact. stabilizing, sir. What do you want me to do? Hold her steady, Mr. Collins. Yes. Got it. Bring us around to fire. I'm not firing on my own boat. I appeal to Collins. Wait. We can evade them. Wager, what's the immediate terrain? There's a trench directly beneath us, sir. Look, we can outrun them. We can lose them in the canyon. We can't do any of that if you shoot the driver. Get down on the line. He can call the trench with sonar. Dad, give me a hand up here. We got some tight maneuver. Con, sonar, they're entering the canyon. Bearing 750 degrees, 35 knots, sir. Keep a tab on them. Try to pull the charts. Driver, we're going after them. Down five degrees level, smart. right behind us. They're flooding the tube, sir. Talk to me, Dan. They've acquired us again, Collins. Get ready for a hard right. Hard right on my mark, Collins. 90 degree starboard coming up, sir. Left, prepare to fire tubes three and four. Prepare to fire tubes three and four, aye, sir. Ears on. Maintain speed and course. Con sonar. They're still in the canyon right behind us. Bring us around to fire.
Flooding tubes. Sonar determined range to target. Shit. Full reverse engine. Point and starboard. Full reverse port and starboard. Aye, sir. Full stop. Hover and declare fire. They're flooding torpedo tubes. Open torpedo doors. Fire tubes two and four. Torpedoes away. Torpedoes incoming, closing faster. No retreat. Take them down with us. These are our countermeasures now. This is way high, sir. Well, prepare to fire tubes three and four. Fire three and four, aye, sir. Fire. Torpedoes away. Closing. Thousand yards. Robinson, release countermeasure now. Seven hundred yards. Torpedoes armed. Johnson, bring us high to port. Torpedoes going after the countermeasure, sir. Mr. President, it doesn't look good. They sunk the SSN Davies. Torpedo still closing, 300 yards. Right full rudder, Mr. Collins. Torpedoes locked on countermeasures. Stimulating. Collins? Take us up to Periscope next. Slow and silent. Do it. Do it, Collins. It's not worth dying. What are you doing? Don't you get it yet, college boy? This is about survival. Do it, Collins. How poetic. Surface now or your head gets blown off. Prepare to surface. Eighty-five feet. Eighty feet. Seventy-five feet. Sixty-five feet. Commence hovering at zero bubble. Zero bubble, aye, sir. Avalon. Spasiba. Avalon, sir, bridge. The launch keys. Now do the math for me, Mr. McDonald. How much damage can a single nuclear warhead do to a city the size of New York? Well, we all find out in exactly five minutes. Starting now. The lights of Broadway are about to go dark. I never even saw damn Yankees. <laughs> we swing back, pick up the gold if there is any, and rendezvous with our ship. Attention all hands. The first nuclear weapon to be fired upon the beautiful United States of America will impact in four minutes. Sorry, we can't provide a view.
was like in the good old days. You traitor bastard. You were in on this the whole time, huh, Murphy? You're goddamn right. The only thing my loyalty ever got... Bullshit loyalty. What do you call this loyalty? You continue to be invaluable, Murphy. How do you feel? We're only moments away from launch. Damn good right now. 40 seconds till launch. The missiles take a little over four minutes to get to New York. Missile bay doors, Mr. Robinson. Doors open. We're losing main engine power. We can't fire, damn it. We're taking on too much water. You'll kill us all. Ah! President. There it is, your first big billions. <laughs> okay, Tommy, calm down. We're almost there. Give up. The missile's already launched. It's over.
Great. Someone managed to abort the missile, and it was a harpoon, not a nuke. Yes! yes. <laughs> There's more. The Empire State Building took a hit from the blast. She's not responding. Rector! I will see you dead. Enough R and R. I need you up top. Let's move. Come on, let's go. Hey, Collins. Good to see you, bro. Stop! Would you get me out of here? Sorry, dude. Come on, let's go. This is James Carter aboard the SSN Ulysses. Yes, sir, I'm a little surprised myself. We're gonna need some assistance on the surface. Rescue teams and a tow home. The ship's ours again. <laughs> sir, is Lisa Stark there? I was wondering if she heard from Tommy yet. I... no, I haven't. You let me know as soon as you find out? Yes, I will. James, I'll debrief you personally as soon as you hit port. Over and out. All right.
That was New York. It was awesome. This big, huge building that blew up on the taxi. Yeah, was that the Empire State Building? Yeah. Yeah? He liked it, huh? Yeah, it was awesome. Love you. Love you. I was really worried about you, Kyle. I missed you. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to see if you were okay. Aren't you gonna kiss? Kissed. <laughs> Thank you.